All right, we're set to work on our final portion, the, the prophecy that Matthew is claiming is being fulfilled in what, happening, in what happens in this story. Uh, one of you alerted me that, oh, this seems like the hardest part. Why didn't I deal with it earlier? And so to me, the key to making it not the hardest part is, is to set a rhythm. I almost want it to feel like, uh, almost like a, a, a poem or, or a spoken piece that, that has a real clear rhythm about it. And I also try to use gestures in a way to help me to remember what is going on. So let's listen to this, this portion. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road, by the sea, across the Jordan, galley of the Gentiles. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. Right? So see how I, I uh, particularly the first part, I try to have some rhythm to it. It's got this bum, 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 feel to it. The other thing that I've, I'm working on as I'm both preparing the story and the sermon is to, to struggle with this notion of darkness. As you probably have thought about, the Christian tradition often associates darkness with something that's problematic. Uh, during Advent, constantly, darkness is bad, light is good. And uh, some of you may have read Lenny Duncan's book, Dear Church, where he reminds us that sometimes these, these light images get mixed in with color images, and sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously, we're absorbing an idea about pigmentation, that darkness must be bad and lightness is good. And so what I'm thinking about this text in, in, in terms of is that I want to say the darkness is the very thing that prepares people for what's coming. That, that their acquaintance and awareness and familiarity with darkness allows them to see the new thing that's coming on the horizon. So the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has appeared. Right? Doesn't totally mitigate the, the issues that I just discussed, but it's a way of saying darkness is something that prepares us to see what God is doing. Right? Not something that, that God overcomes in order to do what God has wanted to do all along. So now that's how I'm struggling with it at this point. Um, I hope that you could take these four parts we've touched on, pull them together, that they feel like a coherent whole. Uh, clearly the, the, the Naphtali and Zebulun section and the fulfillment part of the prophecy, those two pieces go together and the two calls at the end go together. Work on it to see how you can make the whole thing feel like it has a consistent flow throughout it. Thank you. I hope this has all been helpful to you.